Hi everybody. Welcome to the online class of Ideal English Higher Secondary School. In this video, we are going to continue our chapter Amigur Brothers. I know you all very eager to continue the chapter as it is on friendship. In last class, we have talked a lot about friendship and we expect uh, uh, to discuss more things on friendship. Once we are come back, once we are back to the normal classroom. Okay, anyway, guys, in this video, at first we can have a flashback of the story, then we'll continue the chapter. Okay, so Amigo Brothers, Amigo meets friends. So it is written by Perry Thomas, and what do you know more about this chapter? The main characters of this chapter are Antonio Cruz and Felix Volgas and the setting the place a boys school. Okay, um, so when we continue the characters, main characters of the story as we said, Antonio and Felix were the main characters of the story and they were very close friends, very thick friends and they were 17 years old. Both of them were 17 years old and had known each other since their childhood. They were very thick friends and they were friends since from their childhood. Okay, what else? And we had talked about the physical features of both. Antonio, of course, how does he look like? Antonio was fair, lean and lanky and his hair was falling over his head always falling over his eyes. So this was the physical features of Antonio. And what was the physical features of um, Felix Volgas? The physical appearance of Felix Volgas um, is he was dark, short and husky. Wore his black hair in a natural afro state. So all these things will be needed for you to prepare that a character sketch of both the characters. Okay, so all these things were discussed elaborately in last class. So it is just a flashback. We are just remembering what we had learned in last class. Okay, what else did we learn? An ambition. What was their ambition? Were they living just were they idling their life just like the other young stars in the community? Never. They both had a great ambition to achieve. What was their ambition? They had a dream of someday becoming a lightweight champion of the world. Both of them are boxers, boxing champions. They were, and both of them had the same dream of becoming the lightweight champion of the world. Yes. Then what happened after that? They worked so hard to achieve their goal. They discussed this, right? They used to run by the riverside, they used to go to the gym and they worked both together to achieve their goal. Then what happened? So, a strange thing happens in their life. Which one they didn't expect to happen. That was both of them had to fight each other. The other they told you that they are very thick friends. Even though, as their the ambition was to get a, a lightweight champion, they had to fight each other. After the elimination bouts, they were to meet each other, the winner to represent the boys club in the Golden Gloves Championship Tournament. So, the, the tournament is going to be conducted. The tournament, Golden Globe Championship is going to be held in which only the winner can participate. So representing the boys club, either Antonio or Felix can participate, both of them can't participate in the tournament. So to participate in the tournament, they had to fight each other first to show who is mightier than the other. So this was the strange situation that they were facing. After that, what happened? They sensed a new world rising between them. They are thick friends, and both of them had the same dream. So, 
a dissolution. They have this sense of a kind of wars arising in between them. They feel some kind of difficulties in sharing things. Even though they crack jokes, they do not laugh, they do not enjoy the laugh. They do not enjoy the fun. They work together, they are run by the side alongside of the river, and they do not feel comfortable to talk to each other because they are going to fight. Each of them, they are going to face each other. So they sense a kind of war rising between them and desire to stop seeing each other for a, for a while until the match. They won't see each other. They decide. So that, that's what they do. Their decision, when they felt some difficulties in their approach, they thought, they taught each other and found a great solution that they should not meet each other until the match. Yes. What happens next? They hugged each other and left the place desiring not to meet each other until the match. Even then, they are party and they decided not to meet onto the mat. Even then, they knew they are thick friends and they hugged each other, showing their affection and they parted. Yes. Even after parting, they could not keep the thought of the mat away from their mind. Even though they had parted, they separated, they, desired, they had gone two different ways. As we learned in last class, Antonio went to his home and Felix went to his aunt's house at Bronx. So even after party, they could not leave the very thought of the fight. Because unlike any other game, boxing, you can be a champion of boxing only by defeating your opponent. How to defeat? Beat him up, letting him fall. Right. So, this was the condition. They could not forget the thought. They could not avoid the thought of the max. Yes. So, what, what did Antonio do? So, he, he wanted to keep his mind away from the thought of the fight. So, he went to the rooftop and to, to practice some kind of steps, some footworks and some punches, some imagery, so that uh, by engaging in some other words, he thought he can uh, engage here his mind and evade the thoughts of the fight. So he went there and so he couldn't find any kind of comfort there. And what happened in the case of Felix? Felix went to his aunt at Bronx. He went to his aunt and watched a movie. He wanted to keep his mind away from the thought and he watched a movie named Champion and it was about boxing. The movie was about boxing and seeing um, the movie, watching the movie, he saw um, the boxing match in the uh, movie and he saw himself in the, uh, in the ring beating his friend. So, this added his um, worry, so this, uh, this uh, uh, increased his, the disturbance of his mind, so he left the place, uh, he came out of the house, walked through the street, expecting that he can find some kind of relaxation there, but that also couldn't give him any kind of relief. Yes. So, Antonio and Felix, want the match to ethically neither wants to hurt his friend. Both of them wanted to win and they thought they should win the game without hurting my friend. And Julia thought I have to win the match without hurting Felix. He's my friend so I need a kick knock out. A kick win I need. The same way Felix thought as Adam is my friend, I cannot harm him much. I want to win, but without hurting much, without causing any pain to my friend. That was the most way of thinking. Okay, so 
This is what we discussed in last class. Now we are going to cover the chapter. So you have to read the remaining part of this story starting from last posters until Antonio responded. So both in page number 42. Start reading. Use your textbook to read the textual parts. If you don't have a textbook, you can um, pause the video and read it. I'm not going to read it. If you want to read using this video, pause it and read. And when I turn the slide, again pause it, read. And each slide you have to read until the destination comes. Okay, hope you read the textual part completely. It is very compulsory to read the textual part. As you know, in last examination, around 10 marks were based on the text. Even though you have a good mastery of the language without having much closer, a much uh, close connection with the textbook, you can't score much in English. So, it is very, very necessary to read the textual part. Okay, anyway, you read it completely. Now, we are going to discuss what is being said here. Before going to the explanation, let's watch a video which will be very helpful for you to know how fierce the maths is, how fierce the maths box is. How fierce, how strong, how savagery is it a boxing match compared to the other matches, other games? We all play with our friends, sometimes in the same team, sometimes in opponent team. Right? We play football, cricket, and we defeat them and we do not find anything bad. But do you think boxing is also the same, such a same game? Just watch and find what might be the difference between games like cricket, football, and boxing. Here you go. What's the deal? It's a game of thrones within the lightweight division. Just as it is elsewhere throughout the 17 weight classes of the sport. A resurgence seems to be brewing within the 135 pound division, with arguably the best fighter in the sport calling lightweight home. The division is poised to become a feeding frenzy of great fights for years to come. And the old saying, all good things come in small packages, now seems more true than ever. The race to see what division of boxing is the best. We can see the last shows, uh, we've talked recently many terms come in our chapter, and the the divisions. Both and and the new there seems to be the lightweight division. So, uh, so many uh, terms related to the other top of okay. the division. So, both and new that the best one is the so the, the movement is the head. The and so, the ball, so you can the you the know the footwork of the ball's house, the movement of the foot. Plain and simple, the man is a stud. With three of the four belts of the division draped around him, the unified champ is the king of the division. Looking away from Loma's kingship is the other belt holder of the division, Richard Comey. The African assassin Comey is a big 135 pounder. At 5 feet 8 inches, with a 71 inch reach, Comey's power and highly real knockouts have 
surely given would be upon us. Help us to be the strength to encounter and overcome the challenges we face. But first, we have to ask Teofimo Lopez, who will put his IBF title on the line against later this year. Speak of the devil, and he shall arrive. At 22, it's hard to believe Teofimo Lopez is a great world class fighter. The scary part is he's only young. One can argue that El Brooklyn hasn't been tested in the division, but he'll have his toughest test to date when he faces the champ Comey later this year. Now, let's wait and see if he can pass with flying colors. Yes, one is the world that 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 is could be the best case scenario for him. With no word on who he'll face first at lightweight, our minds are starting to wander. How great would a scrap between him and Loma be? Or what about him and another wonder kid of the division, Ryan Garcia? Man oh man, we are pumped. Young and talented seems to be the division's motto. And another great young name that comes to mind is Ryan Garcia. The kid looks like he walked off an Abercrombie and Fitch photo shoot, and at 21, he has the talent and potential to turn into something really special. The Golden Boy fighter who hopes to become the next Golden Boy of the sport is undefeated with 15 of his 18 wins coming by way of stoppage, and can become a household name in just a few short years. Devin Haney at 20, like Garcia, has an enormous amount of potential. When most kids are enjoying Sweet 16 birthday parties, Haney was making his pro debut. Now with 23 fights under his belt and an undefeated record, Haney is the interim WBC champ. His next fight should be against Pablo Lomachenko or any of the other current 135 other champs. With plenty of exciting names like Loma, Comey, Garcia, and now Davis, there are no shortages of intriguing matchups at 135 pounds. And with the age of some of these fighters, we can be treated to some great fights for years to come. The old saying is true, good things sure do come in small sizes. Okay, let's talk about the area of force. Okay, dear boys, you have watched the video and you understood how fierce, how safe during the match is and how great hard work is needed to, to be a good boxer, right? So, it was the case with Antonio and Felix, both worked so hard and they are able to achieve their ambition but the strange thing is this, they are to fight each other. Then what happens? Let's see. So, as any other match, especially when two great teams fight together, it is a celebration for the peoples, right? Especially in the case of cricket, if it comes India with Pakistan, the game is going to be very special. Sometimes it's value than the final itself. And in, when it comes to the uh, football, right? When Argentina faces Brazil, it is some other thing, right? It is sometimes it is a celebrator than the final itself. So the same thing happens here. The match is between Antonio and Felix. So the people around there, the uh, fans of the both of them, like they are fans. They are celebrating this. Uh, the, um, large posters were clustered all over the walls of local shops announced the fight between Antonio Cruz and Felix Walters as the main part. So this is going to be the main part. But means, you know, about a boxing contest. Right, you can see a uh, trade on board. So it's um, something like a tournament, boxing tournament. So their game is going to be the main, the great, the main bout. The fight had created great interest the in the, the neighborhood. So it created a flutter, right? The neighborhood of the place 
are well in great expectation of watching their fight. Antonio and Felix were liked and respected. Each had his own following. So both of them had their own fans. Antonio had his own fans and Felix had his own fans too. The fight was scheduled to take place in Tompkins Square Park. The morning of the fight, Tompkins Square Park was a beehive of activity. So, so many people doing so many works um, as it is a tournament. A tournament takes a lot of things, right? You need to prepare the rings, you need to prepare the podium for the speakers, you need to prepare the uh, seats for the viewers to sit, uh, the fans. Uh, so, then you have to arrange the way for which the um, fighters can come to the uh, Ring. So all these things were going on. So the place was a beehive of activity. You know what is beehive? Beehive of activity means beehive you have seen. Beehive a word bee slave. So if you look at a beehive, you can see they are always busy. The bees are never at rest. They do not take rest. They do not relax. They are always work, moving here and there, making noise, humming. Uh, so flying around. So it is said, if you say um, that it is a beehive of activity, it is very busy, all of them are very busy. So you have seen uh, people doing so many work, so this is said to be a beehive of activity. Okay, with numerous workers sitting, uh, sitting up the ring, the seats, and the ghost speakers stand. The scheduled bouts began. The scheduled bout began shortly after noon, and and the park had begun filling up even earlier. So this the same thing happens when it comes the match between India and Pakistan. The all the gap, the ticket is sold very quickly, right? And the uh, the stadium gets filled very quick because. All the audience, the fans are very, very eager to watch the game. The same thing happened here to the seats filled up very soon. What happens then? The waiting time was over. Felix was escorted from the classroom by a dozen of uh, fans in white t shirt and only was escorted uh, down um, in a different uh, stairwell and and gathered, gathered through a rope of the So both of them were taken to the ring and they were followed their own loyal fans. And it was a rope of way. Rope of way, you know, uh, a way that is uh, drawn by rope. You, you, you must have seen like this, a way that is uh, blocked by using Rope. This is to be rope of bay. So both of them were taken to the ring to a rope of bay. Then what happens? Yes, as the two climbed into the ring, the crowd exploded with a roar. Anthony and Felix both bowed gracefully. So they go onto the ring, and the viewers, the audience, the crowd exploded made no a loud noise ex expressing the anxiety to in watching the movie. So uh, the fighters they both grace basically basically means with utmost respect in a respectful and dignified way. So that's how they do it once they go get onto the uh, ring they grace the crowd. Yeah. And they raised their arms. They raised their arms. Acknowledgement. Then and then raised their arms in acknowledgement. Acknowledgement means acknowledgement means recognition of the importance of or the quality of something. So they know that how important is the match. They raise their hands, showing their recognition, so showing their um, importance. He turns so, so now the fight is going to start and both of them face each other 
and they know that they are hurt and they start a, they are going to start a fight. Yes, up to this you have read and now the fight is going to start. Then what happens? You have to read the remaining part from Boom, boom, boom. The roar turned into, the, into stillness. To, they turned and danced quickly towards their corners. So, read the textual part using your textbook. Those who do not have textbook can pause the video and read it slide by slide. Okay, I hope you read the textual part. Now, let's continue the chapter. So, it starts with a bell. You have seen a boxing match start with bell. So, it is uh, an announcement actually. For a, any game, if there, it is uh, along, when it is along with an announcement, it adds to the beauty of the game, right? Especially, uh, we, have, we use the words cricket and football for which there will be comment, commentary, right? We used to listen to the commentary which adds to the curiosity of the audience, of the viewers, right? Um, and we have listened to the falling and rising of the tone uh, which keeps us on, uh, on the peak of excitement, right? So, announcement is an integral part of any game. Right. So this uh, championship, this tournament is going to be started along with an announcement. So once the bell rang, boom, 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 it's the sound of the bell, the road turned into a stillness. All the audience, all the people were raising their voice in acknowledgement, uh, in excitement. But once they listened to the sound of the bell, their voice was lowered. They stopped shouting, Ladies and gentlemen, the announcer spoke slowly. He said, Now is the moment we have all been waiting for. The main event, two, between two young Puerto Rican fighters. So the announcer speaks. So this is the moment we all were waiting for. So, and they are Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican means it is their nationality, as we are known as Indians. Puerto Rican. Announcer gives information regarding the fighters, and then he says, the, uh, Today we are going to witness a great match between two young Puerto Rican fighters. Puerto Rican means um, it's the, their nationality, as we are known Indians, they are known as Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican and native or inhabitant of the Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. So you can see the um, map here. It is um, a small island in the Caribbean Sea. Okay, so there are Puerto Rico. Okay, there are also Camilleos. He says in this cover, uh, he introduces both the fighters to the audience, saying about their weights and um, their names. And he says that only the winner can participate in the Golden Globe Championship. Um, so the winner of this match will represent Boys Club in the Golden Globe Championship. And he wishes may the best man win. And the game starts. And the cheering of the, the crowd shows the window pane. So they are very excited to watch the uh, fight. And so they are cheering through the window panes of the surrounding buildings in Tomsky Square Park and um, at the center of the ring. 
the referee was giving instruction ring you have already seen in the video uh, the fighter stand in the ring so in the ring the uh, referee was giving instruction to the fighters like what um, keep your punches keep your punches up no low blows and uh, no punching on the back of the head keep your heads up um, understand okay so all those instruction was given and let's have a clean fight now shake hands and come out with fighting so uh, just like any other game just shake hands and start fighting both teams touched gloves and nodded they nodded with their head they touched their uh, gloves and nodded with their head they turned and danced quickly to their corner so after touching the gloves they both came to their corners and now they are about to start the fight. Now you can read the textbook starting from boom 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 round one two and only you gracefully danced his way to, to towards his school. Use your textbook to read the textbook part. Those who don't have textbook can read uh, post the video after each slide read completely then again play and pause once I change the um, slide. Like, okay. Okay, hope you finished reading. I can all listen. I can all listen. So first round stars, Felix and Antonio turns towards each other, squarely in a fighter's pose, squarely means strongly in a straight manner. We can see the board being squarely means directly without deviating one to, to one side, both the face each other. So once the match began, it was Felix who started, he came towards Antonio bending, uh, came for head low. Half hunt, half hunt means making his back round shape like this. You can see the picture on that his back. Uh, so hunt means to lean forward with your shoulders raised or bent your back. So in that way, he uh, Felix came towards Antonio, towards right shoulders and lashed out with stride look so at it. Felix started very soon after the uh, game started. He gave a very good punches to Antonio and he missed the right cross as Antonio slipped. He missed the right cross as Antonio slipped the punch and countered with three lefts that snapped Felix head back. So the same way Antonio retorted, he also gave some beautiful punches which uh, set at the Felix head back and sending a mild shot towards crossing through him. And if Felix had any small doubt about their friendship affecting their fight, it was clean and neatly dispelled. If, they, if he had any doubt that our friendship will affect our, affect our uh, fight, the doubt was clearly dispelled. Dispelled means the doubt was doubt or thought that is clear is said to be dispelled. Okay. So Antonio's left hand was like a piston pumping jobs, one right after another. The seeming is, as we said, Antonio was a this lean, having long hands, so his hands were just like a piston pumping jobs. Piston means you can see the image here. Piston means uh, I think like this, uh, a short sword, a piece of metal that moves up, upward and down, up and down. It's in, it's inside a cylinder. You have seen uh, something in an engine or something like that. Uh, something moves up and down very deeply. The same way Antonio's hand moved up and down fastly, just like a piston pumping towards Felix. Okay. And the scene is Felix 
bold and vivid and never stopped boring him. And at the same time, Felix was not getting beaten. He bold and vivid. Bold and vivid means to lower your head, uh, to evade the punches, right? Move here and there. This is said to be bold and vivid. Bold and vivid means make a rapid bold in moments at up and down and from side to side. You can see the image to uh, escape from the hit by the opponent you can move you move your head here and then sometimes up and down this is said to be bob and weave okay so as Andrew was hitting just like a piston and Felix bob and weave he knew that at long point he was at a disadvantage as Antonio had long hands he could hit Felix even if he was standing at distance so he had to come so close to Antonio to fight and uh, to get the much drunk of knockout. Knockout, you all know, uh, especially in boxing, knockout means uh, knocking someone out, dispelling. Antonio knew the dynamic that was stored in the fist in his and go brother's fist. So Felix, he was short and husky and in his fist he had dynamic then if something can explode. And uh, he dug short right and missed a left hook. So as uh, Felix was hitting, he ducked. That means bent. That means high explosive. That means lower the head or the body quickly to avoid a blow or missile so as to not to be seen. So move, lower the head of the body, to lower your head and escape from the heat. Okay, so he did a short right and missed a left hook. Look, left hook is also, this one is also a term related to boxing. Left hook is a boxing term for short sideways inside punches. So it is inside punches from sideways uh, which land on an opponent's jaw, aiming the jaw of the opponent. If you hit, it is said to be hook, right, left hook and right hook. Right. And you can see the image keeping our, our hand in the way. When you hit towards the jaw of your opponent, it is said to be hook. Okay. So, Mr. Left Hook, Felix trapped him against the rope. So, Felix trapped. Antonio against the rope that you have seen in the ring and he started to give him some punishing rights and lefts. Rights and lefts he started to give right to the hard midsection. Midsection means the very part. Uh, the image you can see here. So this is said to be the midsection. So he was giving punches to the midsection of Antonio. Okay. Antonio slipped away from Felix crashing two lefts. So as he was um, trapped, now Antonio slipped away from uh, Felix's hand and gave some uh, beautiful punches to uh, Felix. And he said Felix had um, right here ringing, started to ring. Felix walked briskly towards back to the corner and Antonio gracefully danced towards his corner. So in this point, Antonio had uh, some kind of how then Felix. Now let's continue. You can start again, start reading from boom, 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 round two. Then what happens in round two? Till they were rubbed until their circulation ran free. Pause the video, use your textbook, and read. Those who don't have textbook can read using this. Pause after each. Slide, read it carefully, play the video, again pause, read.
Okay, hope you finished reading. Now listen. Again, now the second round starter, Felix. Felix came off his stool and rushed towards Antonio like a bull, sending a hard right to his head. Antonio heard sent back a blowing bandage of lefts and rights that only meant to pay Felix. So as Felix came towards Antonio, he hit and um, Antonio gave some blurring damage. Blurring means something that make your eyesight blur. Blur means make up or become unclear or less distinct. Make your eyesight unclear. Barrage means uh, barrage means an overwhelming quantity of blows. So a lot of blows he gave and all you gave to Felix only to make him painful. Okay, Felix bobbed and weird, but as I know he was hearing, Felix was not just getting beaten, he bobbed and weird. We have seen the image of Bob and we moving your head uh, up and down, side to side to evade from the uh, heat. Bob and weird, he casually punching his uh, toes, two blows together, punching his two blows together. Antonio waited for the rush that was sure to come. So Antonio was waiting for the punch because he, he knows Felix very much, very well. So he was expecting some beautiful punches, some strong, uh, phenomenal punches from Felix. Uh, for the rush was sure to come. Felix closed and fainted with his left shoulder and threw the right right instead. So fainted means it's, it's, it's a kind of cheating that we used to see uh, in football also showing that you are moving this leg and you move that other one. The same way in um, boxing also they show they show the action just like they are going to hit with you the right and they hit with the left. Fame means make a disruptive or distracting movement especially during a fight. So um, making you believe that I'm going to hit you with the right, he will hit you with the left. That is said to be fame. So uh, Felix fainted on his shoulder and turned the right. Rights to the body, left to the head. Rights to the body and left to the head. Neither fighter was giving energy. Both of them were fighting very fiercely. Suddenly a short right caught Antonio squarely on the chin. On Antonio's chin, he got a, a great punch. His lower legs turned to jelly. Jelly means something very loose and right, cannot stand properly. Jelly and his arms flailed out and desperately. Felix, grinding like a bull, turned wild punches from every direction. So, flail means um, to wave or swing rapidly. Antonio was waving his hands rapidly and at the same time, Felix was giving punches from every direction. Antonio groggy, bobbed and weaved. Still, Antonio was giving, uh, bobbed and weaved. Groggy means weak or unsteady. He was weak and unsteady because he got it right on his chin. Still, he was trying to bob and weave. Evading most of the blows. Evading, you have seen, evading means to escape. Escape or avoid some or something. So he was booming, bold and weaving. Uh, means he was uh, trying to evade, escape from the hit by Felix. Suddenly his head cleared, his left flashed out hard and striked catching Felix on the bridge of his nose. Right on to the bridge of his nose. And he gave a great punch. In a fall, Felix heard the roaring of the crowd who seemed to have gone insane. So he seen a fog all around and in the fog, in the fog he could hear the roaring sound of the um, crowd who have gone insane. Just like crazy people, they were making noise. He said clear to hear the bell sound at the end of the road. He, the trader sat him down. The, st uh, the stool in his corner, and he was doing what all fighters do when they are hurt, they sit and smile. Table. So both of them were taken to the stools and they are taking us now.
The referee signal the ring doctor to check the fighters out. So as both of them are hit very hard, so hard, the ring doctor comes and checking them and he gives them okay and um, they were rubbed until their circulation ran free. So all this happens if you if I'm watching a, um, a boxing game, you can see all these things happen. The doctor comes, they check and they give okay again the hot one, the wooden ones fight. Right, this happens. So after the so once their circulation free, they again started to fight. Okay, now can you reading from round three till the end of the story? They love the ring. Okay. Post the video and use your textbook to read. Okay, hope you learned the textual part. Now the third round is going to start. Now it has been tic tac toe, pretty much a even. Tic tac toe is a kind of game where one takes a chance, then another, the other one takes the chance. Again, he gets the chance. So it's exchanging of chances. The same way it was here. Antonio was hitting so hard. And later, it, it was Felix's turn, he would give back as fiercely as he received. The same way Antonio gave it back. So it was just like a tic-tac-toe, pretty much even. But everyone knew there could be no draw and that this one would decide who is the winner. So this is the last round, so far in the first round. Uh, Felix got an uh, advantage in the second round, Antonio got an advantage, so this is going to be the desi uh, deciding point, right? As per their performance in this round, the winner will be decided. Okay, this time to Felix surprise, it was Antonio who came out first. Antonio came out, charging across the ring, Felix braced himself but couldn't one of the barrage of punches. So as Antonio was giving a lot of punches, he tried to brace, brace means to prevent, prepare someone for something difficult or afford something difficult or unpleasant. So as he was going to receive punches, he just braced himself, prepared himself to get beaten, but he could not ward off the punches. Ward means to avoid being hit by someone. But he couldn't avoid being hit. He received all the hit given by Antonio. Yes, Felix tapped his gloves, commenced his attack, and knew Antonio tried bo uh, boxer's cushion to the wings, jumped in to meet him, a both pounded away. So, um, the same way, F uh, Felix came started his game and new, just beginning, just like the beginning, he came fast and started with it, now Antonio throwing away the instructions given by the referee, he jumped up and gave a good um, throw a lot of punches and both of them pounded away, pound away means uh, to harm or batter constantly on someone or something, to harm or to beat fiercely both both of them were beating fears in each other. Neither gave an inch and neither fell to the canvas. Both of them were fighting so fierce and neither fell down. The sounds of their blows were loud in the contrast to the silence of the crowd gone completely mute. Completely mute. The referee was stunned by the savagery. So now all the viewers, all the crowd have gone so mute, so silent because they, 
do not know who is going to win. So far, both of them gave a very good, fierce, wild fight, and they could not predict who is going to win. Also, everybody was silent, and the sound of their blows was clearly heard. So, again, the bell rings. Boom, boom, boom. The bell sounded over and over again. So after the third round, again the bell rings. Felix and Antonio were past hearing. They heard the sound, but they were not listening. Their blows continued to pound on each other like hailstones. Even after the bell, the last bell, they were fight, fighting. They were pounding each other. Finally, the referee and the two trainers tried Felix and Antonio. So at the end, the referee himself interfered and he cried, he departed. He took both of them away. He, along with them, some trainers, they cried apart. Pried Felix and Antonio apart. Cold water was poured over them to bring them back to their senses. They looked around and rushed towards each other. So uh, once they were uh, pried, pried apart, uh, cold water was poured out on them uh, to bring them to their senses. Even after they ran towards each other, a cry of alarm surged through the Tom King Square Park. A cry of alarm, a cry of fear started to rise. Was this fight to death instead of a boxing match? Is this match going to be a fight for death? Or the crowd, they thought, this fight will end only after one step. As even after taking them apart, they ran towards each other, you know, towards each other. Boxing agents, uh, the fear soon gave way to wave upon waves of theory as the two amigos embraced. Actually, this time they were not running towards each other to fight. They were running each other to embrace, to hug, to show the thickness of their friendship. How close they are, how intimacy was there in their friendship. No matter what the decision, no matter what the decision, no matter what the decision, they knew they would always be champion to each other. They, they displayed a great fight and both of them hit so hard, but still their friendship remained intact, unaffected. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner representative to the Golden Gloves Tournament of the Champion is so the announcer is going to announce who is the winner who is going to represent the boys club in the Golden Globe Championship and he started his announcement and as he turned towards the um, fighters, the announcer turned to point to the winner and for himself alone, arm in arm, the champions had all the end of the ring. So before the announcer finished his announcement who is the winner, they, they did it by the fighters. The fighters, they didn't wait until the announcement came. They had left the place arm in arm. They showed to the world their fight. It is just a game. It has nothing to do with their friendship. Their friendship will remain intact forever. Nothing can break it. This was the story written by Perry Thomas. How is the story? Hope you all enjoy the story. Read the story again and again. Watch the video if needed. Uh, there are a lot of um, uh, word meaning along with images. So this would be very helpful for you to understand the chapter. And um, a few more ideas are there after the chapter I'll be giving you. Anyway, now I'm going to stop this lesson here. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.